Today, I want to show you how to create an alien-like text effect and add some dramatic lighting to enhance that effect. First, what I've got here is a background image that I downloaded from Fotolia.com. And we're going to go ahead and grab our text tool. The font I'm using here is Ethnocentric Regular. Downloaded that from 1001fonts.com. If you wish to follow along, link will be provided in the description below. Make sure that the size is set to 110 point. It is sharp and the text is centered. And just somewhere in the middle of the screen, type in the text you want to add this effect to. Once you've confirmed that, I'm going to press Control A to select the entire layer, get the Move tool, and up at the top, you're going to click to align the vertical centers and align the horizontal centers. That'll move your text to the absolute center of your document. And we're going to convert that layer into a smart object and add some layer styles here. First, moving to blending options, we're going to lower the fill opacity down to 0%. Selecting bevel and emboss, you're going to want to make sure that the style is set to inner bevel. Technique is smooth. Your depth should be set to 400%. Direction is up. Size at 14 pixels and soften at 3 pixels. Down below, under both highlight mode and shadow mode, Set the opacity for both to 75%. Also, select Contour. And then move down and select Inner Glow. The Blend Mode should be Multiply and Opacity at 100%. I'm going to change the color here. And for the color, I'm going to enter this information. B40000 and click OK. Under Elements, the technique is softer. Source will be the edge. Choke at 0%, and the size is set to 40 pixels. Then I'm going to add an outer glow. The blend mode here is Color Dodge. The opacity at 45%, and we're going to change the color on this as well. The information you'll enter here is 32FB03. Then click OK. Technique is softer, size 29 pixels. And down below under quality, the range should be set to 32%. Make sure you click anti aliased. And then up top, click OK. Now we want to make a selection of that text only. So press Control and left click the thumbnail of the text layer to make a selection around the letters and create a new level above. We're going to modify that selection slightly. So go to Select, Modify, and Contract. I'm going to contract it by 15 pixels. Click OK. And then we're just going to fill it with a color. I decided to fill it with 50% gray. No reason, just because. And then deselect your selection by pressing Control D. I'm going to add some layer styles to this layer as well. Once again, go to Blending Options and lower the fill opacity down to 0%. going to select inner glow here, blend mode is multiply, and we're going to lower the opacity down to 90%. I'm going to change the color down to black. Under elements, the technique is softer, the source is the edge. I'm going to change the choke to 8% and the size down to 25 pixels.
and we're going to add a cover color overlay next. The blend mode will be color burn, leaving the opacity at 100%, and we're going to change the color here. The information you will enter is 059C01. And then click OK. And here we're going to add a pattern overlay. At the pattern thumbnail flyout, open that up and then choose from the different types of patterns here in Photoshop. You're going to want to choose patterns. Just click OK. And you're going to choose what I have on my screen on the bottom row all the way on the left is called Metal Landscape. Select that and lower its opacity to 99%. Now we're going to add an outer glow. Set the blend mode to screen and its opacity to 10%. We're going to want to make sure we have the right color here. So clicking on the color thumbnail, make sure that you have 32FB03 and click OK. It will also be set uh, in its elements softer. The spread at 0%. The size here, we're going to lower down to 9 pixels. and then click OK. Once again, we're going to want to make a selection of the, uh, the text layer. So uh, you're going to want to press Control and left click on the thumbnail once again for your Alien Overlord text layer. Once that selection is made, we're going to want to create a layer underneath this one. So what you're going to do is hold the Alt key down as you select your new layer and it will create a layer underneath the Alien Overlord layer. Now we're going to modify this selection as well. So go to modify and we're going to expand it by three pixels. Then we're going to fill that selection with a 50% gray and create a layer style for this layer as well. Lower down the fill opacity to 0% and select bevel and emboss. Here you want the style to be emboss. The depth we're going to lower down to 100% direction will be down. The size here is 8 pixels and softening lowered down to 0 pixels. Make sure anti-alias is checked on the contour and click OK. We're going to create one more selection of the text layer. and create a level at the top, right above layer 1. Fill that with a 50% gray. Make sure you deselect the selection here. Set its blend mode to soft light. And let's go into the filter menu here, add some noise to it. Filter, noise, add noise. We're going to change the amount to approximately 7%. I left it at 6.7. Also make sure that the distribution is Gaussian and it is monochromatic. And then click OK. Now we want to put these four layers above the background into a group. It'll just clear up some of the clutter. So now that you have the top one selected and active, Hold shift and left click 
the bottom layer, layer number two, and then press Control G to create a group and change it to text. Now we want to make a composite layer of what we have uh, laid out so far. So in order to create a composite layer of the entire group of text and the background into one layer on its own, you're going to want to press Shift, Control, Alt, and E. That'll pull them all together into one flattened image above the rest. Once that's done, I'm going to Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. Make sure for the preset, you pick Floodlight, and then click OK. Now what I want to do here is enhance the glow of some of the letters. On both the O and the D, it is somewhat dimmed outside the range of the floodlight. So we want to bring some of that back in so that it looks like the glow from the lettering is not as dependent on the light from above. In order to do that, we want to open the text group and select the Alien Overlord text layer and then press Control J in order to make a copy of it. And then drag that copy above the composite layer. Now we're going to open up the effects panel here for this new layer. And we're going to get rid of the effects we don't need here. Getting rid of and unchecking the bevel and emboss, contour, and inner glow clicking on the little FX symbol on the bottom of the panel, you're going to delete hidden effects, which will get rid of everything that we're not using except the outer glow, which we're going to concentrate on here. Selecting outer glow, we're going to change the opacity to 97% and click OK. Now we want to mask out this layer entirely, so pressing the Alt key, make sure you now click the layer mask button down below and it will create a mask that is entirely black. The layer is invisible and we're going to paint it back in on the outer rim of the floodlight. So make sure you have a large soft brush selected. Set its opacity down to about 15% and make sure that your foreground color is white. And we're just going to paint in a couple of strokes uh, around the D and uh, around the O as you see here just to bring a little bit of that glow back in from the lettering itself and if there tends to be too much of a glow you can pull it back by lowering the opacity of this layer down I'm going to lower it down to just a little bit under 90 percent yeah, lower it down to that's better 79 percent and there you have your Alien Overlord text effect. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.